Hi, this is Zuri Berry of the Boston Globe and Boston.com, and with me here is Shalise Mancy Young, Patriots beat writer for the Boston Globe, and we're here at Gillette Stadium for Patriots OTAs practice. Off the top, linebacker Brandon Spikes, as well as Brandon Bolden, were missing from practice today. That's in addition to Rob Gronkowski and Julian Edelman, who already had reported injuries. Gronkowski had the surgery the other day. First, uh, Shalise, what is the significance of these two players talking about Spikes and Bolden being missing? Well, Bolden, I think, may also have an injury. You know, this is the Patriots. They're not exactly going to tell us every procedure that a player, you know, undergoes since the season ended last year. Spikes is a little bit of an interesting case. I've actually been told that he hasn't been around the facility in a few weeks. Actually, no show for these OTAs. They are voluntary, you know, by technicality. They are voluntary, so he's not breaking any contractual obligations at this point. Unclear at this point why he's staying away, but obviously he hasn't showed up to this point. Okay. We also got a chance to speak to one of the new Patriots today, Danny Amendola. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. Well, now, do you notice, you know, right away how great a passer Tom Brady is? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I said it today. He darted me in the chest with one ball, and I, you know, I was just inside my head. I was like, wow, this guy can really wing it. And that's why he's Tom Brady. <laughs> Danny, how much of this is communication? Just getting, you know, the signals down, the, 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 the uh, language of the offense down. It's the verbiage. I mean, it's everything. Um, that's that's the most important thing. You know, the vocabulary of the offense. Um, and you know, I'm learning day in, day out, and studying at night and everything. And so it's a, uh, it's a pro, it's a you know, it's a process. And um, you know, second day. So we're, I'm looking forward to the next practice and you know, getting ready for that. All right, you heard from Amendola, Shalise. Tell me your takeaways from this first observation for the media at Patriots OTAs. Well, I think one of the things, and not really that surprising, we saw Danny Amendola spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Tom Brady. The other quarterbacks were there as well, observing, but Brady and Amendola working on that communication piece, working on the routes, getting those things down. Obviously, Amendola could play a very big role in this offense going forward. Michael Jenkins actually joined in in those situations, those one-on-one -on -one sort of or two-on-one -on -one situations. A little bit surprising to see Jenkins not, you know, off to the side or involved in those sorts of things. Not somebody a lot of people think is going to play a big role in this offense. You don't want to make a huge judgment at this point, but again, a little bit surprising to see that. We saw Dante Hightower pick off Ryan Mallett in seven-on-seven -seven drills. Hightower expected to take that big second-year step forward. Gerard Mayo talked about him a couple of weeks ago, that obviously they do expect big things from him. And Aqib Tlaib spoke afterwards about you know being happy to be back here. This is a good time for the players to start getting on the same page. Obviously, he came in last year late in the season. I think he knew the basics of the defense. Now it's time for him to get into you know the meat of the, the defense here. Okay, that should do it for us. For Shalise Manzi-Young, I'm Zuri Berry. We'll catch you later.